the new academic year has begun here in Ghana with massive curricular reforms amid absence of textbooks for the new curriculum and strikes by some teachers. In Germany, the country is facing a staggering teacher shortage for primary schools, but more than 26,000 teachers are needed there for the primary schools, even though on the whole, the country needs about 40,000 teachers, according to research. So what accounts for this problem and how are authorities there handling it? Let's talk about some education today as we compare notes on our weekly crossover with, uh, to Germany with our partners DW. Thomas Sparrow is political correspondent there. He joins me uh, this afternoon. Hi, Thomas. Now tell us, how did this shortage happen and how did it go undetected? Well, Gifty, it's a pleasure to be again with you and with your viewers to discuss probably a, a very, very important issue. We're talking here about education and there are challenges in education, not only in Ghana, here in Germany, but around the world. And in particular today, I would like to focus on the issue that you already mentioned, the shortage of primary school teachers here in Germany, which is not a new topic, but is one that is being discussed time and time again, especially when new reports come out. And we're talking now about the latest report that came out, which um, had this statistic that you mentioned, the 26,000 primary school teachers that are needed here in Germany. When we look at the reasons behind this, when we look at why there is a shortage of primary school teachers here in the country, you have to look at different reasons. One reason, for example, may be demographics, the fact that there are more pupils in the country, in particular because of the arrival of migrants from different parts of the world. But not only because of that, there's also a whole generation of older teachers retiring and then uh, there are problems like uh, lack of investment and the fact that the job is becoming more and more challenging. So those are all maybe elements that together have made a lot of people maybe think twice before trying to become a primary school teacher in the country. Although I would like to stress this once again, teachers and in particular primary school teachers play an, a very, very important role, not only here in Germany, but I would say in any country as well. Mm. Well, now that you've mentioned, um, Ghana, I would say, has had its own share of imbalanced teacher-student ratio, but it's mostly been attributed to the inability of government to employ trained teachers. What is the case in Germany? I know you've enumerated some already, but would you say that people are less uh, uh, likely to accept teaching as a profession? Are people rejecting teaching as a profession, or is the German government also just not employing? Well, there are certainly rankings that mention that teaching is still among certain groups very popular and that is uh, certainly encouraging. But you, you, when you look at the reasons again, you have the reasons that I, that I mentioned and you have an interesting fact as well. When you look at the bigger picture, you will realize that in secondary schools, so for older pupils, you have a rather different scenario. You have in fact, more people there applying to become teachers than those that are exactly needed. So you have a rather inverse situation when you compare it to primary schools in the country. This case in the secondary schools has to do with the fact that those jobs, for example, are better paid than primary school uh, teachers. But at the same time, teachers tend to stay longer in those jobs. So there are fewer spaces for them mm. to occupy, especially for the new teachers to occupy. So you, if you look at the, that broader picture, you can clearly see that the problem is not only uh, focused on primary school teachers. Now, when you ask what is being done, what is the government doing in this particular case, one of the things that has been promoted and that is being discussed a lot here in the country is trying to convince people who did not study to become teachers, but who have relevant experience in their own fields to try and change profession and become teachers. You can imagine that, well, it sounds very good, but it is extremely controversial in a country where basically everyone has to go through a long process of many years to try and certify their abilities and uh, that has raised questions as to what the quality of education would be if you have people who are not necessarily trained to becoming teachers actually working as teachers and in particular primary school teachers. Other aspects that have been discussed are, for example trying to to reintegrate or rehire uh, teachers that have already become pensioners or at the same time making those that are about to become pensioners stay longer on the job. Those are all discussions that are being held here in Germany as well as probably a broader discussion on the actual system. Uh, but that is something rather different and more long term. Uh, experts have stated on various occasions that what is needed is a comprehensive strategy. So to what extent is the government accepting these findings by the research uh, uh, body 
that conducted uh, this research. How is the government taking it all? The government has previously stated that there is a shortage, probably not to the extent that this new report has indicated, but that is a, a problem that government authorities, and by the way, not only federal governments here in Berlin, but regional governments, because education here in Germany is above all a matter of the regional uh, governments and okay. the different German states, that they ha they're aware of it. They're aware of this problem and they've been aware for a long time, and that's why they've been trying to address this issue by, for example, trying to convince people to change jobs, even if they haven't got a, a qualification as a, as a teacher. So this is certainly something that has raised alarms here in Germany, but again, this is a defining issue of Germany's education, and it is a problem that goes beyond only these uh, numbers that we are discussing. There is a whole debate here in the country about, for example, lack of infrastructure in schools and the need for the government, both at the regional level and at the federal level, to and invest more in changing schools and improving school infrastructure. So it is certainly gifted problem that goes well beyond only uh, the lack of teachers and it is one that governments not only again in Berlin but in the regions as a whole are trying to to resolve it's really interesting that you mentioned that you know lack of infrastructure is part of the problem and it's been discussed even in a country that's considered uh, considered one of the wealthiest in the world because that is exactly one of the key problems that we have here in Ghana which is a developing country but in, in government's attempt to deal with this, how is, how, how is government attempting to deal with it? Is migration an area considered to help or being considered to help deal with the teacher shortfall uh, in Germany? Migration is an important area when it comes to education because there are, in fact, uh, many new pupils, as I mentioned in my first answer, and that has to do with the arrival of migrants. I'm not only talking about refugees that might have come during the refugee crisis. I'm also talking, for example, in big cities about the influx of uh, migrants from other parts of, of Europe or other parts of the world, and this has increased the number of pupils in many areas, also increasing the need for, for teachers. There is one problem when you look at, at possible uh, migrants or refugees teaching here in the country, and that exactly. has to do with qualification on the first place, and second, the fact that schools are obviously taught in German, a language that is not easily available to everyone, as it were, for example, the case in if it were in English. Right. Uh, that said, however, German authorities are, are clearly interested in finding new ways to resolve this problem. Uh, not only by attracting people from other professions or by making sure that pensioners maybe stay longer in the job or actually get back to schools, but they're trying to understand how else they can address this problem because it is, as I already said, a very big one. Indeed, it is a very big one here in Ghana. It is a very big one as well, but we have our other problems as well that we put it all together and try to deal with it. Thomas, thank you so much uh, for bringing us up to speed on education as far as the German situation is concerned. Like I said, here in Ghana, some teachers are still on strike. Government is trying to talk to them to back down. And um, some have gone to school, but they don't even have the textbooks. We'll see how that goes. Uh, thank you so much. Thomas Sparrow is political correspondent with our partners, DW. He joined us all the way from Berlin on our crossover today. This is still The Pulse with me, Gifty Ando, up here.